Today I'm going to show you how I deploy my smart contract for arbitrage trading on Ethereum. This is my personal project where I automate spread analysis using blockchain and DeFi protocols. We'll break it down step by step so even beginners can understand and follow along. And yep, this is purely educational content, meant to explain how blockchain works, it's not financial advice. Right now we're in coin market cap. Here's the altcoin season chart. We track it because it shows when Bitcoin's dominance is dropping, opening the door for Ethereum and other ERC20 tokens. Bitcoin just hit a new all-time high, 2x above the previous ATH, uh, and is now trading at around $115,000. With a market cap, that's just mind-blowing. And Ethereum? It hasn't even broken its ATH from the last cycle yet, but it's showing huge potential as we wait for out season. So uh, let's take a look. Prices on different liquidity pools across DEXs can vary because of impermanent loss or minor extractable value. Uh, that's when miners reorder transactions to make profit. These differences allow for cross-exchange arbitrage, where a bot scans spreads and executes atomic swaps using oracles like uh, Chainlink for real-time data. Uh, the step-by-step -step guide I'm following today is pinned in the comments. Also, I leave my official Telegram account here, so feel free to reach out anytime with questions. I'm really interested in building a strong blockchain developer community. And yeah, like I said, this is my Telegram group. I'm available 24-7, so be sure to text me, ask me any question. And yep, yeah, uh, this video is not financial advice. Remind you once again, this is just my personal experience. Okay, so now an important thing. We'll need a decentralized wallet like MetaMask installed as a browser extension. And after that, uh, we'll head to the official Remix platform at remix.ethereum.org. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm going to click the link. And here we are. This is the site, uh, remix.ethereum.org. Uh, let's double check. Yep, it's the official link. And here we need to deploy our contract in Solidity. So uh, let's get back to the instructions. There we go. Here's the step three. Yep, uh, we need to deploy our contract in Solidity. Uh, and we need to create a new file named ethbot.sol. So, and make sure it ends with .sol, otherwise it's not going to compile. There we go, done. ETH bot.sol. And yep, guys, it's very important. Uh, it should be .sol. So, uh, let's check the code. There we go. Uh, my bot is a smart contract integrated with DeFi protocols. It automates trades while minimizing slippage and gas costs with optimization. And remember, this is just an educational example. Results are not guaranteed and you should always audit code. The source is open on GitHub. I also prepared a chat GPT prompt so you can run your own independent audit for security. Check for vulnerabilities like reentrancy or Oracle manipulation. So we just copied the code into ChatGPT. Uh, right now we're gonna see the results. The code looks solid. Uh, start and stop functions are owner only. Uh, trades only execute if they're profitable. There we go, let's see. Yep, mm-hmm. And yep. Uh, these are the potential results this bot can deliver. Uh, there we go, we see it. Uh, we see liquidity recommendations. And ChatGPT confirms that there are no obvious risks or backdoors. But of course, you can do your own audit or even write your own code. I'm just sharing my personal experience. Okay, so let's move on to deployment. Uh, let's go to the official remix.ethereum.org and make sure it's not a phishing copy. I leave the link in the comments. Uh, we've already created our new contract file. So uh, let's paste the code in. And uh, let's go back to the instructions. Uh, so step by step, uh, let's go back to the site. Uh, there we go. And here, right here, we need to select uh, version 084 for compatibility with the current EVM. So click compile. It should work without errors. Uh, if errors appear, the code needs fixing. Now, uh, head to Deploy and Run Transactions tab. Yeah, we see it in the step six. Uh, there we go. And choose Injected Provider MetaMask. Connect your wallet and make sure it's your wallet to avoid mistakes. There we go. Yeah, looks good. And click Deploy. Okay, very good. Then Confirm. 
and here. Okay, uh, pick an aggressive gas fee so the transaction goes through quickly and doesn't get stuck. Uh, gas prices depend on network load, so keep that in mind. If the transaction fails, uh, it means you don't have enough Ethereum in your wallet. Now let's wait a bit until our contract is deployed. Uh, there we go. You'll see it in the log. And the transaction will also show up in your wallet. So uh, let's go back to MetaMask. There we go. Yep. Right here. Okay, and again, let me stress, this is not financial advice. This is for education and learning only. I'm sharing my experience so you can understand blockchain mechanics. Got any questions? Hit me up on Telegram. The link is in the pinned comment. Let's build a strong blockchain dev community together. And be sure to share your ideas for code improvements. Okay, so uh, let's wait a few more seconds. Uh, usually it takes about 30 seconds at most. There we go. And yeah. Okay, uh, we can see the contract is uh, deployed. It shows up in the left menu with all available functions. So uh, now we're going to copy the address. There we go. And head to the official etherscan.io uh, to check if it's really there. There we go. Almost there. Uh, etherscan.io. And paste the address. And yep. We see the contract was created just a minute ago. Our wallet is the owner. For testing, uh, I'll add some minimal liquidity, just a small amount of Ethereum to demonstrate how the bot scan spreads. There we go. And now we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna click right here. Mm-hmm, there we go. And, and we paste the address. You can use the same amount or more. Using less uh, is not recommended because the bot needs enough liquidity for trades. Otherwise, uh, your results will be different from mine. And I don't want anyone to lose money, guys. So please be careful and follow the steps exactly. And one more time, guys. Uh, I remind you that I'm showing you my personal experience, all right? I don't give financial advice. So uh, let's wait a bit more. A few more seconds, guys. Yeah, but spending, come on. Nothing has changed yet. Okay. Give me a few more seconds, guys. Come on. And yep, finally. The transaction is confirmed. Uh, let's refresh the page. Mm-hmm. Uh, we see it in the history right away. On Remix, we can also see the contract is ready and uh, funded with liquidity. Uh, next, uh, uh, let's get back to the instructions. Now we need to hit the start button so the bot begins working. Okay, uh, let's do exactly that. Let's go back to the side. I'm gonna do this. Give me just a sec. Yep, I'm going back to the side. And I'm gonna hit this button. I hit start. And the bot begins working. So, uh, now I go to MetaMask, I need to confirm the transaction again here. Hit confirm. Everything works in a fully decentralized way, no verification or KYC needed, which is both safe and convenient. All your data stays private. So, uh, it's running now, let's wait a couple of hours and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, it's been a couple of hours, uh, here are the test results so far. Look at the transaction log. Everything is transparent, no cuts or edits. And this is not about profit, it's about showing how a smart contract runs inside the DeFi ecosystem. So let's give it more time to check stability and see it's it's not just luck. So let's wait a bit more and I'll be back. Awesome, here are the final test results. Now, the most common beginner question. What if my contract disappears from Remix? No worries, here's the fix. For starters, we're gonna refresh this page. There we go. And yeah, as you can see, it's not there. The contract disappeared. Okay, select the injected provider MetaMask again. Make sure it's the same wallet that deployed the contract. Uh, okay. Now we see the contract is still there. Let's compile it. Go to Solidity Complier and compile. Then paste in your contract address and click uh, add address. There we go. Mm -hmm. And yep, now we see the contract appear again. 
Uh, you can also get this info from your wallet. There we go. Now let's go back and have a look. Uh, the balance is there. Your funds don't disappear. Only the owner has access. Okay, so now I'll finish the test so we can see how everything works. And again, I'll use a slightly higher gas fee. Uh, it's cheap, but much faster. There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait a little. It's gonna be on our wallet very soon. Just a few more seconds, guys. Come on. Yep. Almost there. Come on. Come on, let's wait a bit more. Almost there, almost there. And yep. Uh, we see the funds return to the wallet. Everything came back. And that's pretty cool, right? If you managed to follow along, drop a comment. I'll show more in the next video. Once again, this is educational content, not financial advice. Crypto is risky. Always audit code before using it. Thanks for watching. Send your questions on Telegram. Let's build a developer community together. And see you next time.